Hey there, cute stuff. I want you to know you're special. And a lot of people probably just say that, so it's hard to believe sometimes, but it's different with me. I'm not just saying it. I'd never just say those words and not mean it. Because I know what it's like. Been there, done that. Is probably what you'd expect to hear. But what's different is there's genuine care. And these words go out to you, not just some random on the internet. Or maybe it feels that way. But it's not just random. It's feelings. It's care. It's love. It's genuine worry. Because I know it's not the same right now. The world fucking sucks. And if I'm honest, I think it's pretty easy to get down in the dumps about things. It's easy to get overwhelmed with family, maybe education, maybe work, maybe some combination of the three. Maybe it's everything and it feels too much. But you don't have to go and give up on it. It's going to get better. You know what helps me a lot? Burying myself in books and reading. I especially like audiobooks. That way you can drown out all the sounds of things you don't want to hear. It can get you through those hard times. Or maybe you just like listening to affirmations. Maybe you just need that feeling. Maybe it's tough enough that you feel like you're trapped, but even if you do, you're not going anywhere, okay? I don't want you to, and I know how tempting it can be to seem like everything is out to get you, like there's not even an ounce of hope out there, and I, I don't want you to think that you're too far gone, because you're not. And I know that might seem presumptuous of me, and so fucking what if it is? I don't want you to think about those things. And I know whether my words mean something to you or not, I want them to try. I have to try. Because you might not feel it. The care is something that isn't governed by some logical constraints. It's not something that is only for people who are close. I dreamed of making the world smile ever since I was small. I've ached for that, longed for it. I want to make people happy. Mm, honestly. I feel like you've probably done a lot better than me. Life has its ups and downs, and a lot of people, they don't know when to quit. <laughs> and I guess I'm one of them. And I want you to be one of them, too. Don't quit. You're too good for that. And you deserve a lot better than you're getting right now. You deserve so much better than that. Because I... I don't know everything that's happening to you. I can't know everything. But I know enough. I can feel... That you're dealing with probably more than I've ever known. And that's saying something. Trauma comes in all shapes and sizes. And the world tells people to suck it up. To just bear it. To just feel nothing. And that numbness is what leads people to thinking about the worst things. And I know it's easy to think about that, but it's okay. Despite what people may think, your mental health is just as important as your physical. And I know it might not just be one or the other. Maybe it's a combination of both. I can't even imagine when it combines like that, I've been there, but when you're not in that moment, it's hard to understand what people are going through to the full extent. That's why I can only say I respect you. And 
I care that you're going through so much. Please, please, if you take one thing from this, from my words spoken straight from the heart, take that you're special and you have a lot of things that you can do. A lot of wonderful things that you deserve. A lot of wonderful things that are going to happen in the future. It may not seem like it. There's a million ways things can go to dead ends. But even then, even when it feels like it, I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to ever think you're too far. Ever think that you're without hope, without a purpose, all that. You can find those things. Hope exists, and it's just for you too. Because you deserve it. Because even if you think or have been told or feel you don't, it's not true. You do deserve it. And I know maybe it feels hopeless. Maybe you think you've done something that can't be forgiven. But I think people deserve a second chance. And for what it's worth, I don't think you're hopeless. I don't think you're without a future or things. It may seem like they're all gone, but they're not. There's always something to cling to, always something to hold on to. You're not just floating in space just yet. After all, if we're going to end up as space dust, we might as well end up as space dust with a lot of fond memories and happiness and a life we can be proud of, right? Who knows what happens after? And everybody might find out someday, but even if they do, I want you to enjoy your life that you have. It sounds like a tall order, doesn't it? <laughs> it's probably one of the most difficult things to enjoy life like that. But you're stronger than you think. Much more beautiful, much more handsome, much more wonderful. Just the way you are and how you wish to be. You don't have to wish, okay? You've got this. And I know what you're thinking. Those doubts, they're ringing in the back of your mind like fireflies in a dark night. Lighting it up and then taking that light away a moment further. Despair is contagious, but so is hope. Bad things tend to overwhelm people, and good things tend to as well. But I... I want you to know I'm proud of you. I want you to know, for all the critics out there, for all the people who say you're not good enough, maybe they're complaining about something that you didn't do right. Maybe they're underestimating you. In fact, I can almost guarantee that one. You're better than that. So don't lose hope, okay? This may just be words in a void. Words meant for you. Or words straight from the heart. However you see them, don't ignore that you're worth it. I would have never made this video if you weren't. I would have never recorded these words for you if you weren't worth them. Everyone is worth. Everyone has something to offer, something they can do. No one is truly hopeless, you know. And I know some have difficulties that I will never know. And maybe I've had some that others won't. But it's okay. It's okay to be yourself. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to appease. You don't have to be anyone who you're not. It's okay. And I accept you. And I'm proud of you for being yourself. I'm so proud of you. And I can't imagine how tough it is at home. How tough it is going day to day. How hard it is with people always critical of you. 
maybe people who just don't see who you are, maybe people who don't give themselves a chance to see who you are. Judgment is unfortunately really common. But don't let those people get under your skin. Lots of them are ignorant, and even more of them think that they know you better than you know yourself. Then things get all messy, all messed up, right? It's easy to get angry, but remember to take a deep breath, okay? <sighs> Just like that. If you take that deep breath, I know you can get past this. Again. <sighs> Good one. I know it's not much. And I know it might seem like that's all you got. But don't you give up on me, okay? Don't you think that you're not worth it? Well, naturally everyone's gonna think one way or the other. Those critical thoughts, those nasty thoughts. But don't let them win, okay? You gotta fight to fight. And I think... If you can win, you're not going to regret a single thing. These bad times, you won't even remember them someday. That's what I think. And sure, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's tougher than tough, right? Even if I am, I still stand by. Because one thing I know I'm not wrong in is that you deserve that second chance, that hope. Everyone likes to dangle that word around, don't they? Feeling hope is something I think is different for everyone. Don't you think? It's whatever people want to define it as in that day. But I think hope is exactly something that you can make happen. You don't have to wish upon a star. You don't have to sell your soul in order to find it you just have to understand that you're a person too and your feelings matter when you hurt yourself or when someone else does that's a person a beautiful wonderful handsome gorgeous perfect person that deserves to be respected loved and treated as good as can be I know these words might be harsh, and maybe, maybe I'm oversimplifying something, and it seems like I'm making assumptions, but I know in my heart of hearts that you deserve the best, and I'm thankful that you're alive. I'm thankful that you're still breathing, that your heart's still beating, I'm thankful that you're there on the other side of this mic. I know we can see each other's faces, but I like to hope that you can see that I'm smiling. That I'm smiling because I believe in you and that it's not just some shallow belief of someone aimlessly throwing out feelings to the wind. This is something special. And I want you to feel even a little bit of that. I hope that somehow, some way, you can believe just a little bit of what I'm saying. Because you saved me. Just by listening, you helped me face some of my demons, some of my struggles. And I feel alive thanks to you, in large part. If I didn't have people to listen to my words, I think I'd no longer be able to speak them. And I know you should never say words for the sake of an audience. And I don't really speak so much to an audience as to a person. I want to make people smile ever since I was very small, that's been my dream. And I hope that I've made you smile just a little bit. Come on. You know you look better with a smile, right? <laughs> it's 
nice to see, even a little bit. And I can imagine it in my mind. That's a smile I want to remember. When I close my eyes, I can see you. And most importantly, I can feel you. When hearts connect and feelings, struggles and hope, all of it means something. And you're not just the sum of your suffering. You're not your trauma. You're not any label that people could put on you. You're a million times more than that. You deserve to be loved. You deserve the world. And I believe that you can have it. Love is much stronger than hatred. And I know that most people, they don't see that. They don't see that there's good in the world because it's easy to forget. Thank you for being a source of good in my world. I may have a small little world that I live in, but it feels big and wide, wonderful, thanks to you being a part of it. So please, don't you give up on that wonderful person that you are. And don't forget that someone cares, even if it's thousands of miles away, or even if it's just with your eyes closed and feeling from far, far away, or maybe not so far at all. You deserve the absolute best, and I will always do whatever I can to make you feel less alone. You're not alone, okay? You're loved and special, and you're not just those scars. They make you look pretty cool, I think. And I think you should be proud that you've survived this far. And I hope you survive for a lot longer and get to do all those wonderful dreams you have. Let's make them come true. First step to that, believe in yourself, okay? When you get done with this, could you do me a favor? It might seem counterintuitive or maybe even stupid. Could you look in the mirror and tell yourself something nice about you, not about what you've done, not about what you think other people would like to hear. I want you to say something, say something nice about yourself that you honestly believe. Even if you struggle with that, even if it sucks, I want you to try, okay? I want you to give yourself just a little bit more help because you deserve that and it's a process. Healing isn't overnight. That's definitely not something you can rush into, but I want you to try, okay? I'm trusting you. You've got to do your best, okay? Um, thanks, by the way. Even if it seems like it's just a little request, it means a lot to me. You might not believe this, but I, I still struggle with it to this day. Saying nice things in the mirror. It's difficult, I know. But try your best, okay? And I promise I will too. Maybe I'll start making videos like this every day. And we can all get better mental health, better hope in this world that seems sometimes to be so hopeless. It's okay. And we can fix it. One little step at a time. I'm proud of you. And don't forget how loved you are. Don't forget that you're special and do something nice, even if it's something small. I want you to be able to smile and mean it, not just 
curvature of face muscles upward, but a smile that actually means something to you, that puts you at ease or makes your heart race and wants you to live, not just be alive. And I'll do anything I possibly can to reach that goal with you. I'm happy you're here with me. So don't go betraying that trust, okay? We're in this together. No giving up by you. No giving up by me. Okay? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> A brave answer. And I respect you all the more for that. Don't ask me how I could hear your answer, but I felt it. Maybe it seemed like fiction, but it's not to me. None of this is. You're not just some fiction to me. I refuse to be that to you either. So, until next time, won't you be kind to yourself and cling to that hope? Make that new hope if you have nothing to cling on to. I believe in you and I won't give up on you. I'll never give up on you. Okay? <laughs> Chin up. And don't you ever forget you deserve every single word, every single good thing that happens to you. And I believe we'll get to that lauded goal of being happy someday. It might just be a bumpy ride getting there. Okay? <laughs> you... You really do make me smile. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs>